Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of John Matrix Talks Movies. Uh, today I'm going to review Black Klansman directed by Spike Lee. Um, and this will pretty much, I'm not going to give away too much um, in this movie so I can give you guys a chance to actually see it. Um, but Spike Lee directs this movie. Um, it stars John David Washington, who is Denzel Washington's son, uh, in a lead role as Ron Stallworth. Uh, Adam Driver, who you know from Star Wars, um, The Force Awakens, and The Last Jedi, he plays Flip Zimmerman, who is also a cop, and he is the actual character that will go and meet the clan in place of the real Ron Stall Stallworth and use Ron Stallworth's name. Um, it also um, stars Toffer Grace as David Duke and Laura Harrier as Patrice, who is the love interest of Ron Stallworth. Um, now, the background of this movie, um, this play takes place um, around 1972. I believe the real event took place in like 1978 uh, or nine. Um, don't remember. But this is um, around the time of the uh, Vietnam War. And um, so it's like the early 1970s. Um, anyway. Now, this movie, I will say, has a great sense of humor. If you were expecting a movie, you know, that was very serious, kind of like a um, Mississippi burning, um, it's not that kind of a, a movie. Um, there is quite a bit of humor uh, in, in this movie. Um, it starts off, uh, Ron Stallworth... I will, I will say all of his phone conversations at first when he starts to infiltrate uh, the clan are pretty hilarious because he is portraying um, a white racist over the phone. He has to use a lot of uh, racial slurs and everything like that. And of course the clan guys on the other end of the phone, they don't know. So that kind of makes it even more funny. Um, Now, all of the scenes between Ron Stallworth and David Duke over the phone, that's probably some of the the best material um, in the movie because he's basically uh, tricking the Imperial Wizard, or as he called himself, the National Director, into believing that he is um, a white man. And actually, the real David Duke actually said he didn't know uh, that Ron Stallworth was black until um, 2006. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, another good thing is uh, Flip Zimmerman in this movie, played by a Adam Driver. He actually he play he play he's playing two different roles. He's playing the undercover cop, which he does a very great job at playing an undercover cop. And when he has to go into "Hey, I'm a racist" mode because you know, he actually physically joins the clan. It's amazing how he's able to step in that role flawlessly and he'll make you believe that he is an actual racist. Um, if you watch uh, Star Wars, The Force Awakens and Last Jedi, his acting in this movie is even better. It's way better than what he, what he does in Star Wars. It really is. Um, I will say there's this also there's this uh, other scene where the actual real Ron Stallworth has to meet David Duke in person. And that scene is it's pretty interesting because the real Ron Stallworth is in a room with a bunch of Klansmen uh, for a reason. I'm not going to give it away, but there's a particular moment that he interacts with uh, David Duke and it has to do with a photo and it is just absolutely hilarious. It really is. <laughs> um, so that's, there's a uh, kind of a, there's a bit of a plot twist with that. I would say that scene really does have a plot twist to it. Um, now, some of the things I did not like in this movie. There are some political undertones that are in this movie 
uh, that kind of relate to to today. And there's actually a scene in the movie where Ron Stallworth is actually talking to one of his uh, bosses about David Duke, and that conversation kind of leads into to the political environment today. I'm not going to go into that because I'm not political. I don't want I don't want to talk politics on this channel. Um, I just wish that part was not in the movie because I go to the movies to be enjoyed, not for politics. Which also leads me into um, another thing I didn't like. Once the actual film part of it is over, um, we all know that Spike Lee likes to take like real clips of real events and put them into the movie. He does that um, in this movie at the end, um, but it is extremely political. And like I said before, I just don't want to see politics um, in the movies. Um, it's up to you guys to watch it and see if you agree or not agree. I'm not giving an opinion on it one way or the other. You can be left, right, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, I just don't want to see politics in the movies. Um, another thing I didn't like, I thought that, um, Patrice, who is the, um, the girlfriend of Ron Saulworth in the movie, I thought she was going to have a bigger role in this movie. Um, it's, she actually kind of has like a bigger role at first in the movie and I'm thinking, okay, she's going to have a pretty big role, but as the events unfold, she, she's not as important in the movie as I thought she would be. So they just kind of removed her out at the beginning. It really would not have affected, uh, the movie very much. Um, now as far as, um, the overall feedback, the score I give this movie, I would give this movie a 7.5 out of 10. It's a really good movie. Um, you should go and see it. Um, I w it would have got an 8 if it wasn't for some of the politics. Um, 8 out of 10 if it wasn't for some of the politics. But it is a very good movie. Um, if you've seen it, please let me know what you guys thought of the movie in the comments. And we will catch you on the next video. John Matrix out. <music>